quite the experience. He's still alive because of what he did, of course. And for those who don't know what we're talking about, we're doing the reading test on Aaron Ralston and his experience climbing in, in, in Blue John Canyon in Utah. Um, but yeah, after his experience, he is definitely alive. Just a note, right? The presidents write a book, but if it's past tense, it's written. A wrote and then written. Written is verb three. Write, wrote, written. Has written a book about his experience. So, I'm going to ask you some questions to see how much you understand what your comprehension is. So, what did Aaron Ralston do in April 2020, 2003? Uh, he went to Blue John Canyon to, in Utah to hike. He went there to do some hiking. That's right. Now, was it the first time he went hiking? Or he did he do hiking before? He did hiking before. He did. Yeah, he did hiking. He was an experienced climber. Yeah, that's right. And hiking and climbing in the canyons is just like hiking and climbing in the mountains, right? Because it's all walls. It's just one goes down and one goes up. But either way, you got to go up the mountain, down the mountain. And in the canyons, you got to go down the canyon wall and up the canyon wall. So it's very much the same thing. But bad boy, bad boy. What two mis big mistakes did he make on that day? Uh, he didn't have a mobile phone with him, and he didn't tell anybody where he got. Exactly. Exactly. He didn't bring a phone, so he couldn't call anybody, and he never told anybody where he was going. So once he got stuck and the trouble came, he was in big trouble because no one could find him or rescue him. So... What what did happen to him? What happened to Aaron when he was climbing down the canyon? Um, uh, when tried to uh um is um it suddenly a large drop a rock drop fell on his right arm. Yeah, it trapped, it trapped his arm against the canyon wall. Yeah, so he remember a canyon is narrow, right? So he's he's kind of he's climbing down the canyon to go to the bottom, and then as he's climbing down, then this big rock. Eh, I don't have a rock sitting around here. <laughs> I should have a rock on my desk. And like the rock went and jammed in between the two walls. Yeah, right between the two walls, and of course his hand was in between the rock and the wall and this 360 kilo rock was jammed his arm a get pinned it against the wall so it was a really bad situation he was really stuck you saw you remember the pictures yeah where we showed the rock that was there and where he was stuck yeah wow. okay so here he is he's stuck in the canyon and his hand is jammed or pinned against the wall. I think there were three things that he tried to do. How did Aaron try to free himself? How did he try to get out of there? What did he do? He tried three things. He tried to get out. He tried to free his arm. Yeah. But he couldn't take his arm out. So he tried three things. He tried to pull his arm out. Um he um he uh he tried to break the rock with his knife um and he had a rock and he tried to pull the rock away. Yeah, he had a rope too, so he tried to throw the rope around something and leverage it to try to pull the rope, pull the rock up with leverage and it didn't work either mm. so is he in big trouble now yeah mm. why didn't he order some pizza uh, because he not have a phone 
Oh, yeah, right, because he didn't have a phone. Because that's what I would have done if I was stuck. I would have ordered some pizza. Then I could hang around and wait for someone to find me. I wouldn't run out of food. <laughs> Pepperoni pizza. Okay. So he tried those things to get free. It didn't work. How did Aaron finally free himself? So what he did get free. He's alive. What did he actually, what did he end up doing? He cut his own arm off. <laughs> cut his own arm off. So he took a he took a big machete and a big hatchet and he just went, Chop! now I'm free, and then went home? No. No? <laughs> Wasn't that easy? Sheesh. That's what I would have done. He tied a cloth ar around his arm and started started to uh started cutting his with his knife. He started trying to cook his arm? No. Oh cut. Cut his arm. Yep. Oh my god. Why did he why did he tie a cloth around his arm? Because uh he didn't want to get messy? No, he didn't want to 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 be to to uh, 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 uh. <laughs> he no more blood. He no more blood. He didn't want to wet his blood. Uh, lose. He didn't want to lose all his blood. He had to stop the bleeding. Yeah, that's why he tied a tourniquet. Type tourniquet. I should have checked that word before because I forget what you call it. I think that's what they call it—a tourniquet, tourniquet, or tourniquet. I will put it in the vocab here on the test. All right. So, how long did it take him to cook his arm? I mean, I mean, cut his arm. <laughs> what? How long did it take him to cut his arm off? Oh, yeah. It didn't even an hour. <laughs> Can you imagine cutting your arm for one hour? <laughs> did he have fun? No. Did it hurt? Yeah. Was it really bad? Yeah. How bad? Uh, too bad. What did he say? He said it was... It was uh, well, it was one hundred times worse than any pain he felt before. <laughs> yeah, hundred times worse any pain he ever felt before. What's the most painful thing you ever did? I have a burn. Ah, burns. Those are really painful. Yeah. Ow. So imagine a hundred times worse. Than burning yourself. Mm, don't want to imagine that. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay. All right. <laughs> but he's alive. Okay, so here he is. He's tied his arm up. He's cut the bleeding down. He's free. How was Aaron rescued? Uh, finally. Did he, what did he do then? He go, uh, he had to go down the canyon wall on a rope. Ah, uh, no. Then he walk, had to walk, uh, through the canyon in the hospital. Eventually, he met down all the hikers, and a helicopter came to have, rescue him. Yeah, it it it's kind of. I was a bit confused too. I had to do a little research. Because it says he had to climb down. Well, I thought he already climbed down, and that's how he got pinned, strapped or pinned up against the wall. So, uh, but I, I, I did get more information on it. And what happened was, to to my, to my knowledge, is that he actually, like, so the can there was like a canyon plateau. You know how it's like deep canyons and it's flat on top, right? So what happened was he was actually hiking down in the canyon and then he climbed up a canyon wall and then when he was on the plateau on top there was another canyon in inside it and that's the one he went down to explore and that's where he got stuck with the boulder the the the, um, the, the big rock so he had to climb out of that and the reason they say he climbed down was because he had to climb back down the other side back into the valley or the the canyon trail where there were people the way back to his car. That's why. So he had to do some up and down climbing. 
Yeah. And then, yeah, he, he saw some more hikers. So how did the helicopter find them? Maybe the hiker asked the phone. Exactly. Exactly. He didn't have a mobile phone, but the people he met had a mobile phone and they called for the helicopter. Exactly. And then the helicopter finally came and got him. And they got him to a hospital. And there he is. He's fine now. Now he's a star. Hmm. Would you cut your arm off to become a star? No. <laughs> that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah. No, that's rough. Hey, that 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 that's a scary situation. Sometimes people get themselves in a lot of trouble, and they have to do very drastic things um, to save their lives. I remember a story. I think it was his leg in California, where he same thing. He went off the highway and crashed in the trees, and he jammed his leg in in the car, and no one knew where he was. They never found him, and he eventually had to cut off his own leg to survive as well. Um, so these things do happen. Um, so we got to make sure that these accidents don't happen. That's a good thing, yeah? Mm. yeah? So what what two things did you learn today to never do? What lesson did you learn today? Um, or from that le this lesson, because this was a lesson. What did um, you learn? Bring the mobile phone everywhere and tell... Uh, Parents, where you go? Exactly. Even if you're just going into the city or you're going to go hiking in the woods and you've been there before, um, or you're going to go boating or something, you know, never, never go somewhere and not tell people that you're going to go there or bring and bring your handful. Because if something does happen, you know, you trip and you break your leg in the forest or something and you're, you know, you don't know what could happen. So it's good to have your phone and make sure you always tell someone. And even if you go with a friend, you know, if you're going to go somewhere far or, or where there could be danger, um, still tell someone where you're going and uh, bring your hand phone with you. Absolutely. Good job. So you don't, do you know where you're going now? But what, what? A barbecue? You're going to a barbecue? No, brush my teeth. What? <laughs> brush my teeth. You're going to go brush your teeth? Uh huh. I mean, next Monday. Uh -huh. Where are you going next Monday? Sleep. Interesting, you macaroni, you. Sheesh. Interesting. So, lesson one will start next week, Monday night. Bye-bye. Night. See you next week. You should come to reading class. Practice your reading. Bye-bye. As you get better, faster, more practice.